There are nine FPL game weeks to go, and we could have as many as four chips to play. So when are we going to play them? Let's find out. What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Backup Fantasy Sports. It is Thursday, March 21st. My name is Ewan, and on today's episode, we're going to get into some Fantasy Premier League with a chip strategy update. This is like the second episode I've done with chip strategy. So we're going to look through all the chips and when is the best game week to play them. Uh, Reppin, the U of H Kooks today, March Madness is starting. So go Kooks. They play tomorrow night in one of the late games. But let's just get right into it. Uh, it's going to be a quicker episode this week as international break. So, you know, we all want to kind of enjoy that break. Daddy or Chips, classic commercial from the 90s if you lived in Britain. Uh, yeah, it's going to be Chips. Uh, as you can see here, still in the top 114K. Didn't use my free hit last week, which was a disaster of a game week for everybody. But... We move on, and now I still have free hit, wild card, and bench boost left. So it's going to be interesting to see when I'm going to play them for the rest of the year. But let's check out when you guys should play your chips. Uh, just off the top here, the two guys you have to be following for chip strategy and double game weeks, blank game weeks, any breaking news around scheduling and FPL, Ben Krellen and Planet FPL Pod, a.k.a. FPL James. Uh, you got to check those guys out. They have phenomenal info. They are always on top of it. And that's kind of the basis of this episode. They are the gurus of like scheduling for FPL. And that's where we all derive our chip strategy. So definitely check those guys out. Uh, Planet FPL has a couple of episodes on chip strategy. They just had a new one on Monday that was like half chip strategy, half like when the blanks are going to fall. So definitely something to check out as well. Here is FPL.team, which is uh, Planet FPL James's predictions for the double game weeks. As you can see here, they're going to be kind of different than Ben Krellen. So it's kind of interesting because in the episodes or in Planet FPL's podcast episodes, James has said that he's received a tip from so many trusts that that Liverpool Everton game is definitely going to be in game week 37 which sounds bananas because it's the second last game of the year. Everton could go down. Liverpool could clinch the title. Could be a disaster, but he says that he's heard from someone that that's definitely going ahead in uh, game week 37. So that's why he has all of his predictions based off of that. He predicts a smaller double game week in 34 and a bigger double game week in game week 37. But you can check these out on FPL.team. And here's Ben Krellen's spreadsheet on Fantasy Football Hub. As you can see, he has a bigger double game week 34 and a slightly smaller double game week 37 with um, 35 and 36 possibilities for Brighton and Chelsea as their uh, doubles there. But yeah, definitely check these spreadsheets out. But this is what I've got. I kind of broke it down here. Um so Ben's predictions for game week 34, he thinks Arsenal, Bournemouth, Crystal Palace, Everton, Liverpool, Sheffield United, and Wolves will have a double game week in game week 34, while James is only predicting Bournemouth and Wolves. They both have Brighton and Chelsea in 35, so when they both agree on something, that's usually a solid bet. No double game week teams in game week 36, although it is a small possibility. I think Ben gives it a 30% chance, uh, just depending on the Chelsea kind of if they keep advancing in the FA Cup, that sort of stuff. And then game week 37, Ben has Brighton, Chelsea, Man City, Man United, Newcastle, and Tottenham all doubling. Where James has Arsenal, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Everton, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Newcastle, Sheffield United, and Tottenham all doubling as well. So lots to break down, lots to think. We So it is March 24th. First, uh, the international break is going on right now until the 30th is when the games come back. Both Ben and James are thinking that we should get all this confirmed by the game week 30 deadline, which will help us tremendously, uh, especially if you're already on wild card or you're playing to wild card 31. Uh, it should help out a lot. Definitely check that out. If you uh, subscribe to the FPL, they will or the FPL Twitter account, they will definitely tweet that stuff out whenever it is confirmed. So there's four chips to play, triple captain, bench boost, wild card, and free hit. So when is the best option to play each of the chips? It's So it's titled chip strategy update, but I'm not really like 
play it your way kind of thing. So just this is how these are the best weeks to play each chip. And then you can kind of figure it out from there. So if you have the triple captain left, uh, so you survived Holland and Dominic Solanke and you still have triple captain left. The game weeks to kind of play them are 34, 35, 37. And if you're taking a huge punt, just 38. So in 34, if Liverpool and Arsenal both double, like Ben Krellen predicts, then Salah and Saka could be good options for you there. Because as you can see, Arsenal would play Wolves and Chelsea and Liverpool would play Fulham and Everton, both on the road. In game week 35, Cole Palmer will be popular as he has a double game week. Game week 37 will be popular for Erling Holland and Sun Kyung Min as they both have a double game week. And game week 38, if there's stuff on the line, um, we'll see if Man City don't progress all the way in Europe. They have Real Madrid in the quarterfinals of the Champions League and then possibly Arsenal or Bayern Munich in the semifinals. Holland and Ollie Watkins kind of battling it out for the Golden Boot this year. Could be worth a punt on Holland or Watkins if they are going after that award at the end of the season. I mean, a couple of years ago, Sung Young Min get, grabbed a couple of goals, maybe a hat trick on the last day as he was trying to catch up to Mo Salah, and they ended up sharing the golden boot. So not a terrible strategy there, but obviously you'd prefer to use it on a guy that has two uh, two fixtures. And Cole Palmer is a differential in game week 35. Might be nice, because I'm not sure how many people are going to be playing a chip that week. Um, so if you are activating your triple captain, that might be a differential and give you a good boost towards the end of the season. Bench boost. Um, so teams target on each of like the kind of double game weeks here. Uh, 34, 35, and 37 will be the most popular time to play the bench boost. Uh, I do have 38 in there because 38 is a time that you can really play any chip if you want. It's the last week of the season, whatever. 34, uh, if we're going with Ben Krellen's predictions, Arsenal, Bournemouth, Everton, Liverpool, and Wolves. Uh, Everton would be a little shaky. You'd probably have to set that up on a wild card. I wouldn't be like targeting Everton players with your free transfer, but if you are on a wild card, you could possibly have one or two of them on your bench there. Uh, I think right now my chip strategy is to uh, wild card 31, bench boost 34 and possibly three free hit 37 but i could swap those bench boosts and the free hit uh just depending on where the fixtures land but always playing the bench boost closer to the wild card is nice uh just setting ourselves up for more of the run-in i could also free hit 38 uh because i'm my wild card is going to be filled with man city arsenal and liverpool assets anyway so i might just roll into that double game week setting up uh fixtures like that and free hit 38 so that's kind of where my thoughts are right now. Let me know where your thoughts are in the comments below uh, as you like and subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciated. And follow me on X and TikTok at UNFPL. But yeah, the bench boost, Brighton, Chelsea, 35. They are supposed to double then. 37 would be Chelsea, Man City, Man United, Newcastle, and Tottenham. And then, yeah, 38, Arsenal, Brentford, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City. They all have good fixtures on the final day of the year. Moving over to free hit now. So this is going to be the most decisive chip, I would think. A lot of people have played their free hit already. Uh, 34, 35, 37, 38. Those are probably going to be the most popular weeks to play it. 34 and 37 setting up to be bigger double game weeks. 35, right in Chelsea, it's obvious. But Liverpool, Man City, and Newcastle all have a good fixture. If we check it out here... Liverpool have West Ham away. Man City have Nottingham Forest. And Tottenham has that Arsenal, but Newcastle has Sheffield United. So that might be a good week to play that as well if you're just kind of flummoxed about the rest. If, you, if your team is set up pretty well for all the doubles in 34 and 37, or you think you can get there, there's no harm in playing the free hit in 35 or 37 or 38, sorry. Uh, just to be a little bit different, uh, but most people won't do that. They will set up for 34 or 37 because you can get 11 doublers in your team that week, which is going to be quite nice as a differential for the end of the season. Definitely a good rank boost. But yeah, Alexander Isaac in my thoughts for my wild card uh, should be popular on all free hit teams whenever Newcastle do double, which is likely going to be 37 at this point. 
Uh, once that gets confirmed, uh, I will mention that in the game week 30 preview next week. Uh, but yeah, so Isaac is in my thoughts on my wild card. The problem is there's a lot of forward slots, or there's only three forward slots, but there's a lot of forwards in my thinking, like Darwin, Solanke, Tony, Holland, Watkins, Isaac, uh, Hoyland even. So definitely a lot to think about in that regard. But I think the 3-5-2 formation is becoming popular. But yeah, with Liverpool's fixture run, feels like Darwin needs to be in there. Holland's going to have to be in there. So things will have to be sacrificed, which does make a free hit in 37 a little bit more popular because then you can bring in like the Isaacs and the Ho Hoylands and stuff like that if you want to get away from Liverpool if they do not double in 37. Uh, although James is predicting that they will against Everton. Final chip here is the wild card. So this is going to be the most powerful chip, saving it for the end. The most popular times to wild card. So people are already activating it now but for the international break, trying to gain a little bit more team value. But um, it's a little bit less important towards the end of the season as all the kind of, I think I saw someone say that there was like 41% of FPL teams are no longer active. So the price changes probably won't rise and fall as much. Although most solid did go up yesterday morning to 13.1 million. But yeah, on a game week 30 wild card, Bournemouth, Brentford, Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham could be teams to target. Tottenham's run, good run of fixtures does end around game week 32. So you would have to think about getting them out, but you could set yourself up quite nicely for a good run here. Game week 31 is when I'm going to wild card, I believe, right now, because that makes me avoid the Arsenal and Man City fixture, which is nice. They play in game week 30. And then you can just bring them all back in. So Arsenal, Brentford, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City. That means if Arsenal and Liverpool double in game week 34, you'll have possibly six assets from those guys. And Man City are always dangerous in a run-in. And Brentford, I just really think Ivan Tony's set to go on a run here. I mean, they don't double, but they don't blank. But people seem to be overlooking them quite a bit. So Ivan Tony is definitely in the mix as a forward option. Uh, game week 33 will also be popular to set yourself up for the game week 34 bench boost. So you could potentially have 15 doublers on a bench boost. That would be quite nice. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get there on a game week 31 wildcard as well. But just depending on how the fixtures all line up. So that's kind of why this is all I... Very general, and uh, there's a tweet this morning that says all the fixtures are confirmed. This could be hilariously out of date quite instantly, but this is my thoughts as of right now at 8 a.m. Germany time on Thursday, March 21st. And 35 could be another time if you want a wild card late to set yourself up for like game week 35. You could bring in Chelsea assets for the double, Brighton assets for the double, but also set yourself up for the game week 37 double. So that would be nice as well. You want to try and play your wild card and your bench boost close together. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, that's kind of why I'm thinking I could wild card 31, bench boost 34, then get rid of all the bench fodder, set myself up for the last two or three fixtures of the season with a free hit in 37 or 38. That would be quite nice. But yeah, on a game week 35 wild card, Arsenal, Brentford, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City. As you can see, a lot of those teams are very similar in all of the windows, but that is how it's going to be because Man City just has a very good run of fixtures to end the season, as you can see here. So Arsenal this game week, Villa, those are really their last two super tough fixtures. Then Crystal Palace, Luton, Tottenham or Brighton, NFO, Wolves, Fulham, Brighton or Tottenham again, and then West Ham in game week 38. So Man City likely, I think they're the betting favorites to win the league despite them being third right now but yeah they should be a fixture in all of your wild card builds but not a quick episode this week uh just kind of going over all the options for you to wild card bench boost free hit and triple captain let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below uh like and subscribe to the podcast would or and the youtube channel would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, there's going to be more information coming out in the next week. So I will cover that in my game week 30 preview next week. But once again, thanks for listening and I will talk to you next time.